Today we're painting a pair. We'll need the colours red, yellow and blue which are our primary colours. Either a mop brush or a number 8 brush and we're working with a pair with the light source coming from the right hand side. Now to begin I use a yellow wash over the pair itself with areas being left out for highlights in white. So the yellow wash comes through and I'm using my brush to disperse a quite a watery consistency of my yellow and I work my way down through the fatter end of the pair and around the edges and then I come in with my yellow and I add in a little bit of blue which will give me a green and I will use that green in the fattest part of the pair where it is the darkest and I'll pop that wash through and guide my paint along. Then I will dab it up with a little bit of paper towel, come in a little bit with the brush and then add in some more blue so that I can work on the edge, the left hand side of the pair. And that is a greeny blue that is coming through there. And I work my way around. Now any bits that I do not like or are too dark, I'm using my paper towel. And then I'm bringing in some water to disperse the paint. Now a little bit of red with the green. And I'm bringing that for the stalk. That's quite a dark color, but not overly dark. And I'm using that same color and I'm letting that bleed into the already wet paper. So a wet on wet. And again, dabbing the areas that I'm not happy with, but it has tinged my paper slightly. Now I'm coming in with a green and a blue. So it's nice and dark. And again, washing it out. So my darkest point will be on the left. And then I'm coming in with a nice, rich, strong yellow. And then I'll work that around the pair from the bottom. And I want it all to bleed in. So I want that green blue to bleed in. And I'm bringing in some water and allowing that to disperse around the pair. Avoiding painting over the white areas of the pair. And just bringing in the water so it all disperses throughout the pair. And again, avoiding the white areas. And then using the hairdryer, just to dry off this area. And once dry, I'm coming back with a little bit of water. And then coming in with the stronger blue on that left hand side of the pair. And so there's layers being formed. And again, the darker blue, which is merging with the wet paper and the colors that are underneath. Now the shadowed area, I'm coming in straight with a blue. Coming in nice and dark. It's bleeding through a little bit. It's not bothering me. And then using the water to make that color a little bit lighter. So it's picking up some of that yellow and going a little bit of a greeny color. And I just want a rough shadow. I don't want a perfect circle. I want it to look a bit wishy-washy. And then I'm coming in with the red. And again, the paper's wet, so it's wet in wet. And then some paper towel to dab it up. And just constantly bringing in the darker colors, but dropping them in ever so slightly. So while that area is a little bit wet, I'm going up to the top where I'm bringing in some red and that's all merging with the colors that are underneath because they're still wet and then the yellow on the right hand side of the pair you want that to be mainly yellow and then I'm bringing in my red which is slightly tinged with the blue 
and to give me these layers I'm using my paper towel to dab off the bits that I don't like and then coming in a bit darker on that left hand side and then just dropping in the color softly here I'm playing with the reds and dropping in some yellow so my paper is fairly wet at this stage and so it's up to you to just drop in the colors where you want so mainly on the right hand side we're using yellow on the left hand side we're using the, the darker blues and greens and the belly of the pear is going to be the darkest point so as that's drying I'm coming in and intensifying the color down underneath the pear and then bringing in another layer of that shading and while that's drying I'm coming in with a darker tinge which is basically red and blue mixed together and then using just a wet brush to drag and soften the stem that same color now I'm using in the belly of the pear and just putting in dots lots of dots in the reds and again if you do not like it use your paper towel there's lots of water it's wet so I'm just dabbing it in and letting the watercolor do its own thing and keeping my zones separate and then coming in with the yellow nice and strong I'm constantly coming in with colors as areas dry a little bit I can come in again with my shading just coming in with a red up on the, to that stem and then that same red into the belly of the pear so that red will turn with the yellow into an orange and give you some depth and then I'm going to use the water to just disperse the color a little bit and make that left edge a little bit more rounded and then just the final little touches in that shaded area again bring in a bit of a darker blue so it's quite mottled the color that's coming in and because the paper's wet it's dispersing into the color that's already there so you're not getting a true red or blue or yellow going through they're mixing into the paper don't be afraid to come in with a nice wash of yellow because that'll make all the colors pop and that pear will pop and then again just coming in with the blue working the edges of the shadow down at the bottom of the pear and just playing around with it to what looks pleasing to my eye and there you have it a few more touch-ups here and there a little bit more red just working on the darker area there And again the paper's wet so you're just throwing in what needs to be thrown in and then this is just a close-up of the blues and the way they've turned into the greens with the yellow and you've got the nice strong yellow but then you've got the nice bleed of the blue in with the yellow it's a very very loose style pair very easy very enjoyable to do and there will be an outline included thank you for watching i really appreciate it